When you walk into the ER, who gets seen first and why? There's been a recent case at a local hospital that made headlines after a patient didn't get timely care following triage. Triage here isn't first come first serve. It's based on acuity, who is the sickest, most unstable or at risk of deteriorating. Chest pain, stroke symptoms, airway obstruction, these patients are seen immediately, even if someone else has been waiting for hours. The lawsuit at this local hospital shows what can happen when triage misses a red flag. A patient with subtle but serious symptoms wasn't recognized as high priority and their condition worsened while waiting. This is why frameworks matter. In Canada, nurses use CTAS, the Canadian Triage Acuity Scale. In the US, it's often the Emergency Severity Index or ESI. Both rank patients from level one, resuscitation, and that's immediate care is needed, to a level five, which is non-urgent. A patient with crushing chest pain is level two or one, not a wait your turn. A patient with a sprained ankle will likely be a level four or five. And remember, triage isn't static. It's a continuous reassessment. A patient may walk in stable, but decline rapidly. And if you're not watching closely, they can be missed. For new nurses, this highlights the importance of not down playing symptoms. Listen carefully, trust your gut, and escalate when something doesn't feel right. If you want a quick reference guide on how triage levels are determined in real ERs, comment triage down below on my Instagram video and I will send that right to you.